Hello there, everybody. It's Friday. So you know what that means. It's time for the episode of Fun Friday! Today's episode is Monster Loves You, a game where you make a monster who I assume loves you. I don't know if he loves your taste or your personality, but he loves you, and that's all that matters. So we're gonna play it. Help me begin your story! How does it go again? Long ago, deep in the forest, monsters call the Whale Mist. That's right! Long ago, nestled in the heart of the forest, was the monster village of Omen! You are born from slime that holds the memory of monsters known for... Do actions and attitude? Or words and thought. Hmm. I feel like I'm known for my actions and attitude. My badass attitude. You're not awake yet, but soon your first eye will open. Your simple dreams will give way to life itself. You dream of? What do I dream of? Fighting and eating and screaming. Facing frightening enemies unafraid. Protecting innocent monsters from harm. Well... I'm gonna be as honest as possible. We all we all know it's the first one. Ooh, oh, ferocity plus nine. Oh my. Your body is turning and twisting, growing solid in the middle of a great vat of grease slime. It's time to be born. Yay! <laughs> my options are be born. <gasps> Look at that little guy with the eyeball. Also, this music is very unmonster like. Unless monsters are super cute. So I have a lot of ferocity. My ferocity chains. Uh oh, what? Sometimes you need to be cruel. Can you bring yourself to tear a wolf apart? Wow, oh, oh god. How about its cubs? I mean, I guess I could. Alright, be born. You awaken in the thawing season when the ground is soft and wet. Onward to living! Your eye is open. You're a morsel, just barely born. You float in a spotting vat. Well, that's creepy. <laughs> I like how, if you think about it, this guy over here, this dude, green guy with tentacle arms, he's the spawner? And he catches us with nets? I don't want to know how monsters are created. And then they put us in bags. Look, it makes sense. No wonder I'm trying to eat and maim and kill baby cubs. All right. Dozens of other monsters are exploring, flailing, and stealing food from each other. Hmm, I want to stretch my squishy arms. You spread out the upper corners of your body and feel the tips of your arms split and harden. Keep stretching. The hot... What is happening in the background now? We are in... I want to say... Uh, like, an auditorium? What is... I don't, I don't know what's going on. The hard parts move through the stuff and the things around them forming parallel curving pieces. Flex the curving hardness. <laughs> what? What am I doing? Oh, I have claws? Slash the slime and try to swim. Ah, another morsel swims towards me. It opens its mouth to show a set of small, sharp teeth. It bites you. Ay! What? <laughs> that is intolerable. Stop that biting. You pause, unable to believe that another morsel is trying to eat you. After a moment, you snap out of it and start to move again. Um, unite other morsels to... I am a, I am a true leader. Morsels, join me! Yay, you speak. Your words are simple, but some of the morsels understand you. They converge on the biter. This aggression will not stand. Your tiny slimy flotilla frightens the bad moth of the way. It retreats to the far end of the spawning vat. Patrol the vat and look for more trouble. <gasps> I'm like a hero. A hero of monsters. Splash, flutter, splash, squeak. Another morsel is too weak to swim properly. It's sinking toward the bottom of the vat. I'll save you, morsel. 
You feel a deep sense of injustice at the smaller morsel's impending demise. If only you could do- I have a freaking flotilla! Hook on, buddy! You swim to the morsel determined to act! Uh, get, uh, try to think of something. What if I think he dies? By the way, that is an incredibly cute monster face. <laughs> uh, get under the morsel and push it up. As you push up, the morsel's dead weight forces you down. Keep pushing. I'm not giving up on you, morsel. Your feet are breaking up among the solid clumps on the floor of the vat. Uh-oh, time to give up. No, still not giving up. Your legs are gone now, but you stretch your arms, body chain. Okay, so I'm like a slimy guy. More so out of danger? Like a really little inquisitive face. I don't even know. Yay, he is. Don't grieve. It's logical. The needs of one monster are as important. Your body dissolves. As you push up one last time, the morsel breaks apart. As any other. <laughs> the two dissolving morsels reach for each other. We've become a single mass. You two are and always will be one? Um. Well, that... That did not go the way I thought it would go. So apparently, I saved a guy. I saved a wimpy guy, and now he's part of me. Great. Great. You've grown too big for the spawning vat. You must move on to the next stage of life and become a monsterling. I got any advice? You're going to get into some trouble, which is great. Exercise your bravery, cleverness, ferocity, kindness, and on. I have all those things. I thought I just wanted to eat people. Here I am being a hero. It always starts out that way. Indeed, to the brood cave and adventure. I like how I can just click, oh, I only have eight days to be adventurous? Well, I'm gonna click adventure. Choose your adventure. My, my choices are talk to a monster, break an arm, eat chicken, kill a fox, be startled, be happy, die, smoke pot, continue smoking pot, and snake charm? Well, we're... Snake charm it is! What's that noise from the spawning vat? Go and see. Wait, I just left there. You rush over, a big snake is eating helpless morsels! They moan and cry, but it doesn't stop. What? Bring it on, snake. Who doesn't eat morsels? Eat some too. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna beat up that snake. Yeah, take that, snake. You puff yourself up and approach the snake. It glances at you, then swallows another morsel whole. Let's be honest, at that point, I would be like, Nope, nope, okay, Will. That was awful. I'm gonna leave now. Stand between the snake and the morsels. Hey, snake! Yo, what's for- Oh shit, that's it. That's it! <laughs> yeah! Take that snake, you dick. You pounce on the snake! It's five times your length and twice your weight! But your claws cut its scales like they were paper! Do I eat the snake? Share the snake meat with the morsels. Drive the snake away without killing it. Oh, no, screw that. Eat the snake. Let the morsels watch what a hero can do. Yeah, I gobble the tail. One big bite. Take oh. like that snake. You were delicious. All right. Now I have another adventure. Can I click anything else? No. This, what is this? This is my this is my house. Oh, this is probably the main menu. I'm gonna click it anyway. Yeah, it's the main menu. All right. Lesson learned. Let's go on another adventure. Okay. Uh, let's do. What is a shield? We're gonna go beat someone up, because that's a thing. Bliss Tree climbs on top of the lichen pile. She refuses to let any other monster link eat, proclaiming herself ruler of the lichen pile. Is that lichen? I prefer lichen. Parts of a lich. All right, charge at Bliss Tree. She's an idiot, find an elder. Destabilize the, oh, sh that's it. Just knock the pile over. You want that pile? Have, have it on the floor. I threw it to the ground. 
while Bliss Tree's fending off some of the other monsterlings, you saddle up. And then, <laughs> that's great. So, all right. Grab, yeah, grab at the bone. You grab an old bone and twist. The lichen pile collapses. Bliss Tree is buried in the stuff. The other monsterlings rush in and start eating or kicking Bliss Tree for both. That's what you get. Look at that. Now I got my, now I got my big old nose and I got big old fangs. Zero kindness. Zero kindness. I don't even care. I'm a monster. Hmm. What if I do, what if I do like puddles? You notice the puddle of glowing slime at the back of a cave. It pulses like a heartbeat. Blot shoves you towards it, daring you to eat it. Don't be a human, baby. Oh, all right. Damn, Blots. Show Blots and eat it up. Blots should have this. Get away from Blots and the slime. No way. I'm gonna eat that up. Yay! You creep close and swallow a mouthful of slime. It doesn't taste like normal slime. It's dissolving everything else in your stomach. Uh-oh. The guy's like, I probably should have done that. Wait, that's it? All right, well, that happened. Okay, um, let's smoke some pot. You, Nash Gnash, and Bliss Tree are wrestling near a big clay jaw. You knock the jaw off its ledge and break it into a hundred pieces. You catch Elder Marinus out of the corner of your eye. Yeah, it's my fault. No, I won't do that. Take blame for your friends, I won't do that either. Make good and repair it. Nope. Say nothing. Marinus approaches, shaking her head. Run! Run away quickly! You flee! Blots follows you, scared out of his wits. Behind you, Elder Marius rolls, Who broke my jaw? Keep hiding. Ooh. <laughs> I lost a lot there. Well, whatever. Deal with it. You got away with it. Good. Not, I'm a monster. Not a, not a tattletale. Ain't s snitches get stitches. Even monster snitches. Okay. Uh, you're halfway towards leaving, becoming an adolescent. Firm up your personality as much as you can. Okay, well, chicken. <laughs> That'll do it. Hamrag, an older monster, brings a big sack full of squirming rats into the cave. As he heads for the spawning vat, he trips and all the rats spill out onto the floor. Uh, gobble up some rats, help some escape, help him catch them. Ugh. Look, I need, I need, I need, that, I need that kindness. You race! I gotta, I gotta make penance for the fact that I just lost eight points of other stuff. Uh, you race this way and that, catching up the rats, except the old monster's praise. Thank you. Hey, I'll take that respect. Nicely done! You could have it's eaten them! But you saved them from everyone. You might be worth raising after all. Hamra gives you an extra rat to eat. That was delicious. Okay, three days. Three days and we'll do scare the crap out of another monster. Three gangly adolescent monsters wander into the cave and start poking gob claws with a stick. She tries to get away, but they surround her. Bliss Trace starts to cry. Hmm, get involved, stop the bullying. Oh, she's such a know-it-all. I did knock her off her thing. Looks like fun. You can poke her with a stick. Uh, no. No. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. I don't want to... I know that if I beat her up, I'm going to lose stuff. Screw it. I'm going to beat her up. <laughs> Worth it. You saunter up to the older monsters, looking like a big fierce monster man. And you pull out a stick and you beat the crap out of her. Perfect. All right, what about a broken armed friend? Oh my God, look at that guy. Elder Jaggery walks into the cave, rocking from foot to foot. He howls and slams into a wall, then falls unmoving on the floor. Examine him closely. Someone's got to do something. Help him do it. You creep over, afraid but determined, and see a human's metal knife sticking in Jaggery's back. 
Uh, pull out that knife, dog. Hey! <laughs> Wait, what? Apparently I've learned advanced neurosurgery. <laughs> that is a strange... That is a, that is a strange thing to learn. Okay. Uh, let's kill a fox. A roly-poly fox stumbles into the brood cave, leans against a rock and coughs. It looks vaguely at you and the other monsterlings showing no fear. Talk to the fox. What's up, fox? Hello. I am <coughs> talking. <coughs> <coughs> then it drools and spits. It's really sick. Hmm. I feel like Fox would be delicious. So I'm gonna eat it. Yay! <laughs> it has no fear, so I tear it apart. Hooray! I look so happy. Alright, zero days left. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my! You wake up and find that you're no longer a little monsterling. You're growing up. Like, my response is, wow! Aging is the best! Elder Marin has uh, called the oldest monsterlings to gather in a group! You're one of the oldest ones now, so you should join them! She looks grave. Hmm, alright, go, sure. Marin shuffles down the long tunnel, turning this way and that among dozens of forking passages. Yeah, alright. Okay, there's goop on the floor. Hell, if I'm gonna eat it, I might as well just jump in. <laughs> and you fall in. And fall some more. And fall some more. Yes, some of them are crying. Okay, come on, keep going. Maybe it's clouds. Moans and groans and whispering screams and other wonderful, horrible things. Where is this? It must be somewhere. You land on a smooth, flat stone. Despite the swirling vapor, the floor is dry as a bone. You also rhyme, but you're not alone. You hear other monsterlings breathing near bone. Some of them are still above you, still full owning. That's how you rhyme. Get over it. All right, uh, try to cushion the fall for the other monsterlings. Yeah, whatever. Oof. You don't see who you helped. Whoever it was rolls away into the thick fog without a word. You rejoin some of the monsterlings at the edge of the mist. There are more passages out here than you can count. Some monsterlings begin to panic while others look determined. I'm taking charge. Look, listen to me, or I'll eat your face. Yay, so the curious. Lead the way, personally. You strike out with courage and confidence. The other monsterlings follow you, choosing turns and forks at random. You soon walk into a cave full of even thicker mists. Such a thick mist. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ghosts. Hundreds of ghosts. They're everywhere. My response? Yeah, that's that's kind of spooky, I guess. One by one, the pale ghosts begin to turn their attention to you. Their eyes glow different colors. Stand fast, like, what up, ghosts? I ain't afraid of you, Ghostbusters. The ghosts speak in many voices, all hollow and distant, all in unison. They ask you, do you fear? Yeah, dude, this is pretty, this is pretty freaking scary. Just stand there like a boss, like, what? What up? The ghosts stare into you and through you as though you're the one made of mist. One sharp voice speaks from behind you. Why are you here? Lecture the ghosts about monster lives. Done. D done. Well, duh, ghost. You begin to take a deep breath and then explain about monsters and stuff. Stress is like heat cooking our minds and bodies so they can enter a new stage of being. Continue explaining. Meanwhile, the ghost commits suicide. All right. Wait, so then I fall asleep now? Wait, I grow tired of my own? Oh. End of monsterlinghood. Here's how you're doing. I don't know what that bottom thing is, but I got 5% of it. All right. Yep. You wake up inside a well-appointed hovel. This is your home now. 
Uh, okay, start living as an adolescent monster. Done. Is this is this me? I look amazing. Look at me. Look 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 at how amazing I look. <laughs> I am the best monster that ever lived. Advertise like shameless whores.